Ngayon yung magsasagot naman tayo ng mga probability questions using classical probability na kung saan, sa pagsagot ng classical probability, kailangan alam nyo yung sample space nyo o yung denominator ng fraction para makuha nyo yung probability ng isang event. So, let's start with problem number one. So, sa problem number one, meron daw tayong 32 marbles at 27 doon ay pula at lima yung berde. So, kung may isang marble daw na pipiliin, ano yung probability na yung marble na mapipili ay red? So, yung total number of marbles natin or sample space, sample space is equal to 32. So, yung red, alam natin na yung red ay 27. So, red is equal to 27. At kailangan daw natin makuha yung probability na red yung makukuha natin marble. At sa pagkuha ng probability, yung number of success dito ay 27 red marbles all over the total number of marbles na alam natin ay 32. So, 27 divided by 32 yung magiging sagot natin dito sa um, probability question na ito. At ang 27 over 32 is equal to 0 0.84 or 84 percent. So, yan yung sa problem number one. Sa problem number two naman, a regular six-sided die is rolled once. What's the probability that the number, uh, number chosen is less than five? So, alam natin yung ating sample space sa six-sided die ay six kasi meron siyang one, two, three, four, five, six dots. At kailangan daw natin is number less than five. So, ang mga numbers less than five would be one, two, three, and four. So, meron tayong four possible successes na pwedeng makuha. So, yung probability na yung ating x ay less than 5 would equal to 4 kasi 4 yung uh, number of success divided by 6 or yung total number of possible outcomes. At ang 4 out of 6 pag gumamit tayo ng calculator will give us 0.667 or 66.7% At yung problem number 3 Meron tayo yung random sample na 1,353 adults Ano daw yung probability Na yung nakuha nating Adult ay Nagsashop sa Internet Given na yung 688 ay nagsashop Sa internet at least once a week So meron tayong sample space Na 1,353 At yung six 88 yung mga nagsashop sa internet. So, ano yung probability na nagshop sa internet yung taong nakuha natin sa selection? So, let's say shopped online. So, yung number of success natin, 688 yung mga nagsashop online out of 1,353. At kapag dinivide natin siya, it will equal 2.508 or 50.8%. So, kailangan nyo gumamit ng calculator kung kailangan nyo i-convert yung inyong mga fractions sa decimal. And notice na hindi ko na siya sinisimplify kasi when you use the um, a calculator, yung percentages niya is magiging parehas din. So, yung mga fractions natin, hindi na natin kailangan i-simplify sa simplest form. Now, so number four, meron tayong group of 50 car owners. So, yun yung ating sample space. At tatlo daw dun ay may hybrid na cars. So, kung meron daw tayong isa-select na owner ng kotse, ano yung probability na meron siyang hybrid or nag mamayari siya ng hybrid car? So, probability ng hybrid car... or owns a hybrid car would be yung total number ng meron is tatlo out of the 50 people na tinanong natin so 3 divided by 50 will give us 0 0.06 or 6% so yan yung probability ng problem number 4 and dun sa problem number 5 in a standard deck of cards so kailangan alam nyo yung um, sample space ng standard deck of cards at sa standard deck of cards meron tayong 4 suits at sa bawat suit ay may 13 na cards so 13 times 4 is 52 so meron tayong 52 as our sample space so ano daw yung probability na makakakuha tayo ng 
face card. So, probability ng face card. So, sa standard deck of cards, meron tayong king, queen, and jack. At since may apat na suits, 3 times 4 is 12. So, yung probability na makakuha tayo ng face card would be 12 out of 52. At ang 12 out of 52 would equal to 23 or point 23 or 23 percent. So, yan yung pagkuha ng uh, probability using the sample space at pwede ding i-represent ang mga probability questions in table form. So, meron tayong table dito ng mga tao na, uh, na survey at yung sample space niya is 2,048, yung total. At yung uh, mga selected adults, tinanong nila kung nag-shop sila online at ito yung mga sagot ng mga tao na tinanong nila dito sa survey na ito. So, meron tayong male and female at yung mga tao nag-shop sa online at yung mga hindi nag-shop online. So, yung una natin probability question is kung yung person daw na isa-select natin never shopped on the internet. So, ito yung total nung probability, yung sample space na may nag na hindi nag-shop sa internet. So, yung probability ng uh, never shopped online would be ang total number niya is 800 divided by yung sample space or yung total number of um, sample which is 2048 at 800 divided by divided by 2048 will give us 0.609 so yan yung probability based on the uh, table na tinitingnan natin. At dito naman sa letter B, ano daw yung probability na yung mapipili natin ay male. So, sa probability na yan, pwede natin isulat yung P. Probability na yung masaselect natin would be male. At dito sa table, meron tayong 1,200 na male participants divided by the sample space, which is 2,048. So, yung probability niya, using the calculator, would give us 0.586 or 58.6%. So, sa pagkuha ng uh, mga probabilities, kailangan alam nyo or naintindihan nyo yung table na binigay sa inyo. At dun sa pangatlo, probability naman daw na female. At sa puntong ito, yung probability ng female would be 848. 848 all over 2048 and using your calculator pag dinivide natin siya would equal 2.414 or 41.4 percent at dun sa last problem ano daw yung probability naman na only shopped when the mall is on sale so in this probability Unfortunately, wala dito sa information dito kung saan yung mga tinanong nila ay nagsashop lang kapag ka sale yung mga mall. So, ang probability nito ay 0% kasi hindi siya kasama sa information na nabanggit dito sa ating uh, table of values. So, ito yung pagkuha ng mga probability or classical probability in different forms. At kung uh, meron kayong natutunan sa video na ito, please like, uh, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.